Hello there guys, welcome back to Unis Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, we're, we're buzzing today aren't we, we're just, it is what it is, I can't believe I can come on here and tell you guys in a match review for Atletico Madrid versus Chelsea that we have beaten Atletico Madrid 1-0 away from home, neutral venue, we've got the away goal, we bring it all back to Stamford Bridge with the away goal, I, I never thought I'd be saying that, I did tell you guys I predicted a 1-1, Shout out to George. George got it spot on. Benson put 1-0 to Chelsea. He, he was feeling optimistic and rightly so. And yeah, prediction absolutely spot on. So fair play, shout out. Um, and we, we deserved it. We deserved it. In fact, we deserved more. I think we deserved more. I do want to um, really go into the detail of this game because we did a lot more than I think a lot of people expected. And Atletico weren't that intimidating were they we were all scared we were all worried we were all thinking oh atletico my goodness they're gonna destroy us they've got so much power they're so good defensively suarez this they done hardly even half of what we expected them to do we had complete domination of the game from start to finish we deserved the result a couple of things haven't gone in our favor and we'll get into the detail but before i get into all of that i'm gonna ask you guys if you are new hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to be notified once i've uploaded let's get into the lineup and what thomas tuchel went with to start the game at the beginning so this is it this is what tuchel went with we went with a back three formation Edouard Mendy in goal, the back three of Aspilicueta, Christensen and Antonio Rüdiger. We went with a double pivot of Jorginho and Kovacic, left wing back of Marcos Alonso, right wing back of Callum Hudson-Odoi. Mason Mount as the 10 and up front Timo Werner on the left hand side of the two forwards. Olivier Giroud on the right hand side of the two forwards which was the team that I predicted in my preview I told you guys that if Pulisic was ready and fit then I believe he would be someone that could drive take the ball dribble and cause all sorts of havoc but if he's not at match fitness and he's not going to be selected I predicted the lineup that Tuchel went with today spot on absolutely on the money, man for man, and it worked, it worked, it worked. For the first five minutes or so, we looked a bit shaky, we were all thinking, oh my god, what's gonna happen? We almost made a big mistake, almost to concede a goal. From the first ten minutes onwards, we really settled down, we got ourselves into the game, we really began to boss the show, get the ball, get a feel of it, really start moving it about, really start penetrating in between the lines, in those spaces, trying to get the ball into the half spaces, which we done quite a lot. Half the time it didn't go anywhere, but we tried it a lot, that's for sure, with Jorginho making those passes which were too powerful, hudson Doy, Alonso, no one getting onto the end of it, except for a couple of times where we were successful with it. Now, in terms of the overall game and how we expected things to to go we thought Atletico would sit back which is what they did but we thought they would be deadly on the counter-attack we thought they would be too much to handle on the counter they have front men there that can punish you you're looking at Luis Suarez you're looking at Joao Felix you're looking at Lamar those players that you know have a lot of attacking presence but I was very surprised um, in a weird way to see just how defensive Atletico were they were extremely defensive. Let's have it right. They were not just parking a bus or a plane. They brought the Wanda Metropolitana Stadium with them to Romania and stuck it on the pitch because back seven, they were literally at times during the game, they were defending in a seven, having two midfielders and one striker up top. A 7-2-1 formation. That is what they were going to defend. So clearly they were worried at something. And we done very well in terms of moving the ball our possession, the way that we were um, utilizing the movements, the way that we were having loads of confidence begin to build up as the game progressed even more. And that first half, when you look at it, you expect us to be 1-0 up. In the first half, we weren't doing the two things that I think we needed to do most. One, we weren't getting enough forward men onto the ball into the box. I don't think we were penetrating enough with our wing backs and um, offering enough support, getting in between those spaces and taking the risks to sometimes cut in and dribble. We weren't doing that. Often what we were doing was linking up on either side. Um, either we would drive down the middle initially and just go there, or we'd go to the wings, have a hudson Doy or a Marcos Alonso, combining with whoever it may be, whether it's a Kovacic or whether it's a Mason Mount, especially Mason Mount, who was everywhere tonight. But that would be it. And then across into the box, then we'd wait. 
Or option number two that we didn't do was shoot enough. The first half, we didn't take even close to as many shots as we should have. Not even close. And that is something that, thankfully, I think we improved in the second half. And, you know, <laughs> albeit, we managed to get the goal. But I do still think there is an element of us having to take that risk. You know, we need to. We need to. When it comes to it, take the shot. Take the shot. As I said, in the second half, I think we've done it a little bit more. I think Timo Werner took um, a few more shots. We saw Giroud have a couple of digs. Mason Mount had a couple of digs. Um, hudson Odoi. We, we had good amount of shots on goal in the second half. And the stats proved it. We have over 10 shots um, in the entire game. I think four or five of them on target. So the second half was better than the first half for sure. And when you look at the opportunities that have come into our favour, when you look at that ball to Mason Mount, for example, where he hit it with the side of his foot and it goes so high... In in that moment no you don't do that wait for it to drop and smash it hit it because you never know where it's gonna go um i think we need to take those risks at times because when you take those shots you work the keeper you never know what can happen um and you know when we got up to the goal the goal that goal was absolutely immense in every in every sense of the word and he despite the var check going on for about a week and a half I'm so happy that VAR done their jobs perfectly because when we all saw the replay, we, we saw Giroud's offside. He's offside. He was in an offside position. However, however, we thought the ball would come off Mason Mount, which it didn't. It came off the Atletico defender and it landed straight into Giroud's path and Giroud showing Felix how to take an overhead kick because that was absolute perfection. What a glorious finish from Olivier Giroud. Honestly, Giroud going down into Chelsea folklore. At this rate, he will be considered a cult hero. Hands down. I think he will become a, you know, in bracket Chelsea legend in a sense. Not so much a Chelsea legend when you compare the real legends. But in his own way, Olivier Giroud, yeah, mate, you, you qualify. You qualify. And it's crazy, honestly. I, you got a feel for Arsenal at this point. You really got a feel because they gave us Giroud. Um, <laughs> we gave them Willian, um, they gave us Ashley Cole, we gave them David Lewis. It's, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for our neighbours on the other side of London. Um, but Olivier Giroud serving us exactly when we need to with such great technique. Overhead kick straight into the bottom corner. Oblak not getting anywhere near that and we're 1-0 up. And even from that point, the game changed because at that point, Atletico needed to attack. There was no more relying on a 7-2-1 formation, sitting back and waiting for things to happen. No, 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 no. you got to come out and get the goal now. And as much as Luis Suarez was falling all over the place and trying to get the referee's sympathy, it wasn't enough. And despite their attacking threat, I truly, I truly believe when Atletico were attacking, there were opportunities for us to hit them on the counter-attack, which we did a couple of times, but individual decision-making, which didn't go in our favour, prevented us from getting that second goal. Because if we had scored a second goal, that would be the tie dead. As far as I'm concerned, I think we are not going to allow Atletico to score two or three at Stamford Bridge. I, I just, playing like this, they're not doing it. So, honestly, when you look in hindsight and you look at the result that we've managed to collect tonight, absolutely class, absolutely class. In terms of the performances of uh, the players, I can't fault anyone. I can't fault anyone. Not one player had a bad game today. Not one. Everyone done exactly what was required. It's nice to see that the intensity was kept for 90 minutes. The concentration was there throughout. The players wanted it. They made the right decisions. Jorginho and Kovacic in the pivot proved that they can do something despite... A couple of times, Jorginho going backwards when he shouldn't have. But overall, they were very collected, moving about very nicely, picking out very good passes and doing what they do best with very good balance. And I think we brought on N'Golo Kante at the right time because he became the seeker and destroyer to prevent any Atletico attack from materialising. And that helped us to get the counter going, which I, I wished we took advantage of and got a second goal, but we didn't. But anyway, regardless, I think everyone was superb. If you look at hudson Doy and you wanted a reaction from him, well, bloody hell, you got one. Because that tonight's performance puts the story from the weekend to bed. That was a non-story. That was something that shouldn't have been mentioned by the media. Nothing, nothing was in controversy between Tuchel and hudson Doy. It was a tactical change. It was a change that Tuchel felt he needed to make as a manager. Lovely to see that hudson Doy tonight reacted well from it. Mentally, he's there. Physically, he put in a very good performance. And overall, he bossed that right-hand side. So that's very good to see. And it's nice to see that he stepped up. And that's what you want to see. That's what Tuchel wants. That's what hudson Doy wants. That's what we want. And we got it. So honestly, hudson Doy 
Troy, fantastic. Um, the front men, whether it's Timo Werner and his movement, Olivier Giroud, and his contribution, absolutely brilliant. We saw his goal, fantastic. Mason Mount all over the place tonight, in a good way. I'm not saying that in a bad way, in a very good way. He done very, very well. Marcos Alonso, he gets a little bit of criticism tonight. I thought he bossed that left-hand side, even though he's, you know, not the fastest, but he done what was required, and that was really, really good to see. So, honestly... Everyone I can't fault, even our defence, they were solid. Every single defender, Rudiger, Aspilicueta, Christensen, everyone, solid. Didn't let anything through. Mendy had an easy day at the office today because of those three. So, I can't fault anyone. Absolutely brilliant. Now, the disadvantage going into the second leg is that Mason Mount, unfortunately, is suspended. And Jorginho is, unfortunately, suspended. Because they've both picked up yellow cards, which means that they will be missing the second leg. It means we have to rely on N'Golo Kante, that's for sure. And to step in for Mason Mount, which we managed to see when he came off during this game. We had Pulisic come on. We had Ziyech come on. We had Havertz come on. And they all look good. They all look good at a European level where the physicality isn't as high as the Premier League. I think these players know exactly what they're doing. So I'm not concerned. In terms of filling the players that are suspended, I think we're going to be able to do that. And bring on the second leg. Yes, it's half time at the moment. But my goodness, 1-0 an away goal against Atletico. And now second leg at the bridge. It's in our hands. It's in our hands. So let's knock Atletico out because, oh boy, we perform like we did tonight and Atletico uh, perform like they did tonight. If they don't step their game up, we're going through. We're going through. So let's wait and see what happens. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on tonight because I'm buzzing. I'm sure all of you are. We're all very happy. Bring on Man United. The next game is on the weekend against Man United. I'm sure they were looking at tonight and thinking, oh, oh, have they just stepped up? Because, wow. That was a performance. That was a great performance. I'm hoping they're saying that. We'll see what happens on the weekend. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below in regards to tonight. I would love to hear it. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. And bring on the crazy schedule because now we've got Man United. We've got Liverpool. We've got Everton. We've got Leeds who won 3-0 tonight. So fair play to them. We've got Atletico in the second leg. Not all in that order, but we've got to play these teams over the next few games. So it's going to be the leg of game that decides our season in the league and in the Champions League let's knock Atletico out in the second leg at the bridge let's do it in our own backyard and hopefully we can plow on into the quarterfinals come on Chelsea fantastic performance from the boys fantastic uh, display from Thomas Tuchel and the way that he set out the team brilliant timing of substitutions everything was spot on great to see from the boys let's keep it moving I'll see all of you tomorrow for a brand new video thank you all so much for watching have a good one look after yourselves take care and peace Come on, Charles, get in there.